Hey guys, welcome to thepixelab.net. Today I'm gonna to show you another effector. So last time I showed you the shader effector and how we kind of made this little animation here. And to add a little bit of uh, bounce, shall we say, to this animation, I'm gonna show you how to use the MoGraph effector delay effector. All right, so if we twirl down, our fracture item, um, the effector, it has a shader effector in here. So we're gonna go ahead and add the delay effector underneath. Now if we go into the delay effector, uh, we have position, scale, and rotation. Um, we're actually gonna go ahead and leave most of these to default. The strength is at 50. One thing we're gonna change is the mode. We're gonna change that from blend to spring. And we'll go ahead and play this. And as you can see, we are getting a little bit of wobble into our animation, right? We'll go ahead and change this to 50 so we can see it loop a little bit better. So that's with the delay effector on. Let's go ahead and turn it off. That's without it, right? So basically what it's doing is adding kind of a little bit of um, spring to it, right? And that's exactly what we did. We added it to spring. And if we add a lot more strength, you can see it absolutely goes crazy, which, you know, might be kind of cool. If you're doing kind of cartoon um, bumpers, animations that are a little bit cartoony, um, you have to have the delay effector on there, right? I mean, it is really, really cool stuff. If you're trying to do some more serious things, you might have to figure out a way to use this a little bit more elegantly. Maybe uh, tone it down a little bit. So that's it. That's an extremely quick tip for you. But you know what? That might just add a whole nother dimension to your animation, and it's dang quick too. That's it, guys. Thanks for checking out the website. I really appreciate it. We'll talk again soon. Bye, everybody.